maintain. Well, we may as well just start now. There's that. I forgot to start the game. I guess I better start the game. Eh? And starting. Oh, good. Oh, upgrade needed or something, or... Somebody posted, somebody posted, I was just reading in, um, oh, on Facebook, there's an ATS forum, and somebody was saying, oh, yeah, just got updated, and none of his mods work anymore, and I'm thinking, just got updated? Well, it may be, it got updated a few days ago, and he just noticed, he's just logging on again, and the fact that it doesn't, crashes all his mods may mean that it just crashes just one of his mods is crashing, but he's not sure which one. So, grain of salt on these. Uh, yeah, somebody was saying, uh, I did comment on there saying, I can't download, uh, I can't download any, I can't, I can't download any mods. Again, you know, they all crash or something, and I so I asked, so download meaning you don't have a link to the internet, or download meaning you they don't go to the folder because your drive is too full, or you do download them, you start up the system, but it crashes, or you know, give us some ideas, give us some hints. Okay, here we go. Keep left. And then continue straight on. So here we are. Um, last time we stopped. We stopped just abandoned ship in the middle of the road. Here we are with damn fine load. Right? It's my long trailer. We don't have a big engine in this. Let's just look at what we've got to remind ourselves. We've got, I think, a f 650. Yeah, 650 horsepower, which is okay. And I think it's a 15-speed 15, 15 gearbox. It's hard to tell from those numbers. It's a fairly good ratio. So morning coffee. Actually, it's 5.44 p.m. in the game, but you know what I mean. Twelve. Thirteen. I'll go straight on the sky. Thank you. See, there's the occasional uh, glitches in landscape in this map. Go straight on. They're not a big deal. Right? I think I forgot to, uh, just a sec, I forgot to enable this particular vehicle in my LEDs.
So I think it's a 15. Oh, there we go. I think we're heading for 65 here. Oops. pull over because this load is such that um, as soon as I hit a bit of a hill I slow down there was an indicator as to where the hell you are in the cruise control. Pretty hard to tell. I believe it's starting to rain again. Yep. Oh, I also had my turn signal on. Also having issues with stability here. Truck and trailer. Well, let's get there and see what that looks like. I guess I should have uh, this on, eh? Old school, uh, look at those old school headlights I've got. Or, er, um, yeah, roof lights. good in this lane. Okay, I got a bit of a hill again. I believe there's more signs that have gone up. Just general signs. Road signs, you know. Welcome to the city, stuff like this. So it's sort of a two-stage thing. Uh, 
uh, Jace Meister, the developer doing this Midwest expansion, meaning Illinois and surrounding states. Uh, lays down some roads, some towns, with some um, cargo spots in the towns, gas stations, stuff like that. And uh, very little beside that. And then he go back and uh, he goes back and adds more scenery, uh, adds more on the highway, uh, more little buildings and things in the towns, and then more road signs. Like I think the initial rollout had a lot of intersections, there was no stops, yields, traffic lights, nothing. Trainer break there. Turn right. More wiper, more Kyle Bell. We go just a little wide on that turn, just in case. Keep left and then turn left. Uh, no. Oh, why is it doing that? No. Recalculating. Yeah, recompute. this route and it goes through I think it's Danesville where the Jace Meister is from oh. so to do today I've got things to do other than driving uh, I've got to work on a story got to finish the story sign up for um, simple cast I've got about seven hours to go, and what time is it? Seven hours at night. And when do we think we're going to get there? Oh, Saturday afternoon. At three. Well, if I change the time to five. 
That'll be... Yeah, I'll get there by three. It's kind of nice. The lights on the outside of that hotel. I might go through here at night just to see what it looks like. Oh, they gotta hate this in town. Big bloody truck coming through, jaking like hell. people. Let's see where we are on the map. We are here. Vincenzi. And a couple more, a few more. Danville. One, two, three, five, six, eight. Gas, ten. Yeah, gas looks good. Someone, go I'll go straight on. Kind of nice. Someone was complaining. In these, well, I think it was perhaps with this same load. He says, "So how do I, how do I gas up?" Um, and then he's told, "Just stop by the road." Drop, drop your load, go in, come back and hitch up again. And I guess at one point you would forfeit your load if you dropped it several releases ago. Apparently. I don't remember that, but not the case now. You drop your load, it's still there. You can sleep if you want. Yeah, that was his issue. He had to sleep and he couldn't find a place he could get into. Oh, so, yeah. He was looking for a mod that would let him to find a new sleep spot, so he would just pull off the side of the road and sleep, but it would count as your nine hours of the game. But I disabled that uh, years ago. in the way of me enjoying the game. Sometimes I wanted to keep going, sometimes I want to drive at night, sometimes the daytime. And uh, I think the cycle actually isn't always at the same time. I think it's every so many hours, so you can be tired in the middle of the day, I think. So. Okay, so seven hours. Definitely getting dark. Late. Let's wait till there's six hours to go. Oh. Well, actually, let's wait for the next town. Oh, it doesn't change. Those are just on. Okay. Um, 
problem is you can tell people are coming, but you can't really tell what is on the highway up ahead. Town up ahead. Go straight on. Him. Go straight up. Yep. See the lights both go orange at the same time. on the back. The one-way sign. Little tiny one-way sign on a foot off the ground. Keep right and then turn right. No, no. Now leaving Turn right. Marshall. Never mind. Recalculate. Leaving Marshall. Okay. Okay, let's um set up some uh, domain. I've got a domain name that I bought that I have to point to it, so i got to go into my domain server. Dona domain name management, whatever, whatever you call it. Set up A records and things like that. It was like, oh, were you going through that intersection? Yes, I was. Nice little wobble in the road. I'll go straight on. Yields for those guys. That's good. I always miss the welcome too. And I have to catch the uh, thank you for visiting. Oh, Chrisman. Oh, 
Okay. What's coming up next? Danville, 22. 22. Okay, so it's, right now it's 224. So at 202. I've got HDR turned off. Yes, I do. Because I get bloom from that. You know, it's just too annoying. Oh, vertical sync enabled. Apparently, if I put, uh, I just, I'll point that out while I'm here. Vertical sync enabled uh, basically throttles my um, FPS. Make sure I stay around the range of 60. Otherwise, it's as high as the video card can do it. So the video card. GPU is always up at 99% or whatever and it's trying to crank out like 160 170 FPS and who cares go straight on. I'd love to go straight on the sky but note the uh, red light Keep running, keep running. Apparently that's what one does. If one can. Damn. Starting from a dead stop is harder. And also if you can get right down to the bottom gear, just leave it there without having to shift out, then you save the clutch and shifting. But there's me at one, but still uh, 500 RPM. Here's the rain has stopped. Okay. Do a nice little bounce there, like we would if we have a truck, uh, the torque. Cereal. Um, I'm working my writing. I got a story due today and I can't really think of what to do on it, so I'm procrastinating, but I need to trust myself more that figure out how the people are.
figure out uh, like like the issue. What's the story here? Who's involved? What's their particular goal? And what stands in their way, in, in with internally or externally, to achieving that goal? And what are they? How do they overcome it? And hopefully, how do they change as a result of overcoming that obstacle? should ask the developer if, if he'd consider putting a beacon on the back or is that realistic from a North American point of view uh, I know I've seen it um, trying to think now I guess I could do a Google North America heavy haul beacons. I've seen them occasionally on a European trucker I follow, Ivona, who does, but often it's beacons on the back of a, you know, 80 meter windmill blade or something, wind turbine blade, so of course there's a beacon. But I think Sergey uh, heavy haul in the US and Canada, I think he puts them on the back too, so. straight on. Guy just crawled through. Should have gone me. Hey buddy. Leaving. Chicago. Your estimated time 12 13. That's going to keep getting worse until I get going faster.
I wonder if I should add Grimes Weather Mod to this. Is there a Grimes, um... Just let me look. It's not as if there's a whack of people here. Um, is there a Grimes Weather that gives me fall? Grimes mods dot WordPress. Ah, yeah. See, there's an early autumn, frosty weather, early autumn, spring graphics, new summer graphics, late opera. Oh, look at this. Oh, sorry. Let me look at the ATS mods. Uh, frosty. Okay, okay. So he's got frosty winter. Uh, early autumn, late autumn, mild winter. Well, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll slap that in. Let me look at it and see what it does. Less leaves on trees, autumn colors, autumnal daylight hours, HDR bloom reduce, appropriate temperature readings, no thunder or li and lightning. Uh, now I might do that, uh, but change the hours, because I really don't like these shorter days. Huh. Well, now I know what I'm going to load next. This would be nice, with autumn colors. Uh, the winter mod is interesting too because the, you can load a physics mod, I believe. Uh, you load a physics mod that uh, decreases your traction. the light was that long anyway, so that's good. Dixie Highway. I wonder who Dixie was. That little shh. Some farms here. Go straight up. I will. It's nice you got some farms outside the city. A little bit of rural osity there. Oh, ah, yeah, I'm excited now, but with the Grimes weather in. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to have to find that longer hours. It's welcome to Chicago time. I believe I eventually turn left here. Not here, but maybe uh, not there. Go straight on. I'll go straight on. 
When she says go straight on, I like to check just to verify that the other people have a stop or yield. A little gun shy after the early releases of this map where it was Wild Wild West intersections. Ah uh, yeah, see I do have a left after after the ramp. Creeping, creeping. Let's get over it with the hell. Probably not gonna make this because we don't exactly rock it off. You know what I mean? We just sort of ease our way. Uh, and oh, we're not quite blocking. Ooh, he drove right through my freaking flag though. That was rude. That better? I uh, have to turn left here somehow. Keep left and then turn left. Here? Oh, yeah. Is it far away? No. I think we keep going here. Okay. Didn't really have to stop because there was nobody there. But it's a nice gesture, right? Eh? Uh, so close. We're close. Okay, let me make another coffee here. I do a little thing here. We're saying we're making my coffee. Let's do a welcome here. There, we'll put that up and then we'll go like this and go burp. Mute.
There we go. Now we're back again. We're unmuted. And we got a coffee. And... And I guess I turn right here, do I? Sky? And I guess I better get over here like this. Nobody coming? Well, there's a lake over there, so nobody coming out of the lake. Uh, there's somebody coming there, but I'm going to do this. Just to disturb them a bit. How did we do? Did we take out a sign? We did not. But we're good. And then we're going to turn left. Lefts are good. We'll get ready to turn left. See? Oh dear, this is a bad intersection. Well, and there's a lot of vehicles coming through. Chicago. 8.30 in the morning. Kind of rush hour -y. Oh, there's a space though, because those guys are pulling out. We're good. Let's go here from here. Turn right. Looking at the mirror, there's nobody there, so let's turn right from here. There we go, 18 miles an hour heading up the ramp. Or 14 or 13 or 12, 11 or 10 or 9. See, not a complete loss. And appears to be downtown Chicago. Uh, no, I think we have to get over. Maybe after this guy. Ooh, you bastard. The guy would not let me in at all. Why? So, here we are, Chicago. I assume these are classic buildings from Chicago. Don't need the headlights anymore. Is it raining still? Oh. Is this the running lights? Yeah, there are the running lights. That of them all on the trailer. Yeah, I like those. Keep right and then exit right. Ah. Check the mirror. She, she says that. Nobody there. Why are we doing this? Exit right. Why are, why are we, um, are, but well, that was weird. We didn't have to do that, but it's more scenic. Okay, could have just stayed on the bloody highway. Same with here when we get to Milwaukee. Uh, why does it take me through downtown Milwaukee? But okay, I can do that. Jaking, jaking, jaking. Are you going to turn? What are you going to do? Are you going to break? thought he was going to break. They often do that. Start a turn and say, oh. Let me just check. Keep left and then turn left. That's a four-way or two-way. Yeah, they turn have a stop, so. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm doing this. We're going up 
next to, we're not going next to the lake. Well, we should check out the lake if we're gonna do that. Over there. Eh? Hey, even more exciting to check out the lake. Oh, and a gas station. How are we doing for gas? Order tank. We're good. Oh yeah, the lake. We're gonna check out the lake. This one? No, this is like a side road. Not like a side road. It is a side road. I need to remember I don't like that phrase. So oh, it's like Tuesday. No, it was Tuesday. Unless you mean it was like a Tuesday. And then every Tuesday such and such happens. So, uh, last week, last week I was in uh, Toronto, I was in Toronto for a week, uh, went to the Art Gallery of Ontario with my girlfriend, uh, it was an interesting place to go, there's a lot to see. Um, I could, I haven't gone in a while. I used to go fairly regularly. I had at one time I had a distance pass. If you lived, uh, if you lived outside the city, if you lived outside the city, you got a discount on a pass and you could also add a family member. So I had a distance pass and I added my sister. Now I lived out here Ottawa, so I cut at a distance. My sister lived in Toronto, but you didn't have to, you did not have to indicate that, so. Now, now they have added another option. An annual pass for seniors, it's $35. Maybe 30% off. regular seniors pass you get less benefit less fringe benefits so less you either can't don't get a discount at the uh, gift shop uh, you don't get a discount in the cafeteria you have to pay two bucks whatever don't hang your coat up but you know I could do without those things The coat is mandatory, everything else is. Oh yeah, see? See the way he paused? In orange, pause. What a jerk, eh? The game feature. Um... Now, should I go through Mil Milwaukee to see what's there? I don't think I've ever gone through Milwaukee, and there's a possibility that he's added some stuff. So, yeah, let's do a tour. And do we need to get gas? Probably don't. <clears throat> we could after we download there. Just a sec. Let me check something here.
hill, get going on that hill, and then not not get going on that hill. I almost need to put flashes on. Let's do that. If you could take this trailer in multiplayer, wouldn't that be cool? Shifting down gonna help here. Oh, no, shifting down was a bad idea. So I just forced a uh, upshift. Force another one. Welcome to Wisconsin. Also went to uh, in Toronto. Uh, we also went to Wonder Pens. That Clifton just off Dundas, I think, west of. Well, I think it's just east of Bathurst. Anyways, um, they sell fountain pens. The various writing instruments, but mostly fountain pens and fountain pen ink. Helpful staff, great selection, good prices. Had a had a nice time there. Um, I think I'm going back down. I guess in November. Keep left and then continue straight on. Milwaukee. Yes, this way. I'm going back down to Toronto in November, so I think I'll be going back down to Wonder Pen. Maybe another pen. I'm not especially happy with the one that I got. the nib. <laughs> I got a fine nib. And maybe a medium would have been nicer. Whoa, that's interesting. The nice thing about a um, A fine nib and it gives you a nice fine line when you're writing. Good detail. A wide nib. Keep right. uh, exit lets you see a bit more variation in the ink that you're putting down and if you have uh, some of the inks are quite complex depending on how thick you put them. Flashes on? Yeah, yeah, let's take those off. Sit here like this so we can see better. There we go. Let's, why don't we go like this and just 
bit of consternation for our locals, but they'll get over it. Okay, so this is going to be Milwaukee. There's a hotel there, sort of stuck there. Been to Milwaukee, I think. There's a big river. Charles River? Maybe that's Boston. Chemical place. Good. Couple of buildings. That's good. So I got 103 miles to go. <coughs> Let's assume that we'll make it. committed to it because we missed our chance to turn off to the gas station there. And we're going under the highway, but eventually we get back onto the highway, I believe. Ooh, this is a nice little underpass. Because it's got this little downward facing dog. some grates on the road. That was nice. Although the grates should be at the bottom of the underpass, but you know. We're good. Nobody there? Nobody there. Good thing, because we're sort of hanging over. Get ready to turn right. Okay. here. Nothing. No stop. Ice cream guy. We got an ice cream guy there. We missed stuff. Yep. Yeah, we missed a lot of stuff. We kicked up some dust, but that's okay. through Milwaukee here, eh? Red Battery Inc. Motor City. These are annoying. Glad there's not a lot of traffic. I mean, they're not that bad, but still. The motel. Let's wake everybody up. Although it's 10.30. There's a Balbert. Hundred miles. Um, I think we got enough gas for hundred miles. Oh, we'll find out. There, that probably uses a lot. Whoa, nice carring. Can we go? Now we can go. And 
No, okay, this looks okay. We can go over a bit. Then we'll hang over a bit, but we're good. Except for that hole that's there, but that's good. We're not even going over the white line, so we are good. Uh, another wall burnt. There's the little mountain. So, Milwaukee, but leaving Milwaukee, didn't really see any uh, lake or river. Oh, farm center. Oh, nice, uh, thank you for the nice, nice wide lane there. Oh, and it's 30. Why is it 30? Keep right and then exit right. I will. Let's get going a bit fast. I know we're speeding, but. Right. But I'm pretty sure, yes, that changes once you get up here. There we go. Got a good speed going up the ramp. Had a good, uh, not bad weather in Toronto. A little cool at times, a little rainy at times, but for the most part, uh, you gonna let me in, buddy? I guess you have no choice, eh? Uh, for the most part, it was nice. Tuesday, I believe it was Tuesday, a little warm. Something came, oh, that's interesting. A little warm something came through. You know, it was 17 Monday, 27 Tuesday, 17 Wednesday. More than, more than 27. The shorts day, nice. Shorts, t-shirt. Sat outside, had lunch, and then got dehydrated, so. Let's go with 55. Yeah, we got an hour and a half to go. 67 miles. Just enough brake to slow it down doesn't really slow it down that effectively, but it does add some braking. So we must be heading very slightly downhill. Yep. Not much, just enough that we need a bit of break to keep it under control. Leveled out a bit, I guess. Jake is off. Almost there. Like I said, once I'm there, I'm going to, I think, I quit this game and I'm going to. Uh, I've been, um, I've been on for a while. Oh yeah, hour and 21 minutes. That's certainly adequate. I'd like to do at least an hour for per stream.
I see what we do. We have to do this little loop here. Add a bit of trainer brake. slowing down too soon, but uh, normally there would be longer exit lane. Okay, there we go. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, Grimes Weather. Discover Green Bay and say, hey, you've discovered Green Bay. This is exciting. Keep left and then turn left. And then we have to turn left. Turn left. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get there, Sky. We gotta wait for an arrow. Until I stop. Oh. That was nice. Well, that's pretty too, whatever the hell that is. What hotel is that? Oh, let's do it like this. I want to see what the hell the hotel is. Eddie's. Eddie's Hotel? Kind of interesting. Okay. Eddie's Hotel. Possibly blocking somebody? Possibly. One or two, I think I was supposed to be here at three, wasn't it? 3.24. Stop sign and a. I see. Put a stop line. Clear there. Let's go like this and see what happens. Oh, there's a. Yikes! Missed it. Okay. see any people? No. I wonder why. Green Bay Packers. Green. 
it in. There's some people standing there at the left. There were three people sort of looking casually confused. Uh, I think. Oh, I guess we turn here at the light. Get ready to turn left. I will get ready to turn left. That means slow down and put on your signal flasher. There you go. Flasher's gone. Turn left. I will turn left. Ooh, look at these guys just sitting out there like that. Yeah, were you sitting there like that? You were. They were sitting there like that. Luckily, <coughs> there's no damage. Game is perhaps a little too... Thank you. And what are we going to do? Oh, we're just going to say... I think we're just going to say we're done, because it's probably going to want me to stop somewhere stupid. Excellent job. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what we would get from here. I'm pretty sure we get nothing from here. Green Bay. Yeah. Not a. We have to go back here to Milwaukee. Jesus. Yeah. Chicago. Kind of a specialized trailer, but it's cool. So we'll think about it. Anyways, uh, thanks, folks. And uh, I'll be on probably this evening. So ta-ta for now.